Up to 85% of the world's oxygen comes from the ocean. Number two, baby cows get taken away from their mums so we can have their milk. Number three, if the ocean dies, we Hey guys, Anthony here, and today's video is all about why I went vegan by accident, and I honestly can't go back, even if I tried. Here's why. Number one, up to 85% of the world's oxygen comes from the ocean. The more deforestation that occurs for the farming of animals, the more pollution that will get released into the air, which will result in the shrinking of the wild animal population. According to David Attenborough, biodiversity meaning the variety of all life forms on Earth, the more deforestation that occurs for the farming of animals, the more pollution that will get released into the air. This will result in the shrinking of wild animal populations. According to David Attenborough, biodiversity meaning the variety of all life forms on Earth, biodiversity must be restored in order for the Earth's stability to be restored. Another thing is, the rainforests trap heat and pollution in the air, creating a cooling moisture. As you can imagine, deforestation for timber and farming of animals is a massive problem right now. And according to the documentary A Life on Our Planet, 15 billion trees are cut down every single year. Think of trees as our lungs. They trap pollution and release oxygen. But what's interesting is that according to Seaspiracy, a Netflix documentary, up to 85% of the world's oxygen actually comes from the ocean, specifically from a microscopic marine algae called phytoplankton. Next up, the white ice in the Arctic reflects the sun's heat, which prevents the Earth from getting to unbearably high temperatures. This is quoted from Sustainable Travel Ireland. I say no more. Number two, baby cows get taken away from their mums so we can have their milk. It was never for the animals, here's why. It was in fact David Attenborough's documentary, A Life on Our Planet. After watching this, a seed was planted inside my head. Essentially, the more pollution we continue to create, the warmer the earth becomes, making it more and more unlivable for us humans to live on. Next, most animals get their throats slit, experience immense pain and suffering so we can eat their bodies. Another thing is, pigs get cramped up into sheds, fattened up, and then killed for bacon and pork chops. It's like being shoulder to shoulder inside a jail cell with nowhere to move. Imagine how claustrophobic you would feel. Lastly, I used to be worried about protein and that was one thing that was holding me back to going vegan. But over six months after going vegan, I was shocked when I found out how much protein I actually get each and every day. I'll link that video down below. Number three, if the ocean dies, we die. When I first attempted to go vegan, Sea Spiracy came out and that was the talk of the town. And the famous quote from the documentary was, if the ocean dies, we die. So how will it die? If we continue to increase pollution in the air, which then gets absorbed into the ocean because it has nowhere else to go, the ocean's temperature will continue to rise. Coral reefs will continue to die, hence their white color, aka bleaching, making it more and more unlivable for sea animals. Next, a rise in one degree Celsius in the ocean is extremely significant as it could wipe out an entire species of animals in the ocean. Also, earlier this year in 2021, I got into snorkeling with my partner Jessica. And after further education about global warming, I was honestly worried that we would never be able to see the sea animals we came to love, like dolphins and whales. We had already created a connection with them and I didn't want to lose that. It's also one of the most amazing ways to experience life on this earth. So, these are the top three reasons why I went vegan. I hope you enjoyed this video and at least found this video insightful. Join me on this journey of working out every day by subscribing. My name's Anthony, see you tomorrow.